Hello everyone. In this video, I will let you know how to establish a database connection with SQL Server using Classic ASP. Therein, we will perform the basic database operations like uh, insertion, deletion, updation or selection of records to or from a database table. Here, I will create a basic HTML form to accept data from the user and the collected data will be stored in the specified database table using classic ASP code on the server. For the demonstration, here I am using Windows 8 operating system, SQL Server 2012 database 2, IIS web server and Mozilla Firefox web browser. The entire process can be categorized into three paradigms. The very first one is with respect to the database, wherein we will create a database and we will create a table within a database. Then we will create a data source name. Later, we will create a site with the help of IIS Manager. And next, the final step is for coding, wherein we will create an HTML form and few ASP files. That's it. Uh, this is the summarized form of what we are going to do in this video. So let us begin with the creation of a database. And for this, let me open the SQL Server Management Studio. Select database engine, choose any mode based on your configuration. I'll go with the SQL Server authentication mode. Enter the required credentials. Click on connect. I'm assuming you all are aware from the basic stuff with the SQL Server like how to create a database and how to create a table. So here I'll just create a database and a table without much explanation. If you do have any issue, doubt or query with respect to these, you may post or discuss in your Google Classroom with me. Just so right click on databases, select new database. For demonstration, I'm giving new pro name and click on OK. The new database has been created and to view it just expand databases scroll down and look for new pro here we go yep we do have a new pro database over here now we'll create a table within this database so for that expand this one right click on tables select new table design your table over here I'm going to add two columns, one for role and another for name. So the first column name is role and data type for this one would be int. Press tab to move and uh, another column name is name. Data type for this one should be n by k of length 50. Right click on the role column and select set primary key. Now the role column is the primary key for this table. Save it with name student. Click on it. OK. That's it. We are done with the creation of a table within New Pro database. Now we'll add few data within our table for demonstration. So here we go. Span the table. You'll get the newly created table. Just right click on this one and select Edit Top 200 Rows. Here we'll add few rows. So the first is 12, VZ, 70, Sam, 190, Shala, 23, Neha, 34, Aki. That's it. Press tab and that's it. You may click on save and to view the store data, just right click on this table and select top thousand rows. Here we go. The store data over there. And that's it. We are done with the very first step. Now let us create a DSN. To proceed just minimize this window. Now let us create a DSN. And for that we need to open administrative tools. You may open right from control panel or just type in the run window. Control 
admin tools and click on ok or press enter this is what the administrative tools interface will be there here for the creation of data sources we need these two options from a previous shared file you may learn the architecture of ODBC in detail choose the type that is 32 bit or 64 bit based on the type of application with which you need to establish a connection in my case SQL Server is of 64 bit so I'll choose this one here too, I'll recommend you to learn about this interface from my previously shared file. Click on System DSN. Click on Add. Choose an appropriate driver. You need not to install this driver explicitly if SQL Server is already installed in your system. So just click on Finish. Give an appropriate name. For demonstration, I'll give a new Pro DSN. Add a bit description about the DSN and uh, here I'll write sample DSN demonstration click on this to choose the server you need to connect with if nothing is specified here you need to add the name of the server which you have configured during SQL server installation you can check this one here, open the SQL Server Management Studio, click on Connect Object Explorer and that's it. This is the server name. You may just, you may right click and select copy and paste it over here if nothing is specified. Click on next. Choose the appropriate mode. You may go with the SQL Server Authentication mode and uh, wherein you need to provide the username and password for your database and this is the windows authentication mode I'll go with this one for now click on next click here and from here choose the database you want to connect with this is the new pro yep click on next leave everything as the default and click on finish this is the summarized view of what we have configured so far. Click on test data source. You can see here the test is completed successfully. Click on OK. Click on OK. You can check here the newly data source name has been created. And if you want to modify this one, just select this and click on configure and follow the same procedure. For now, click on OK. And thus, we have completed our second steps as well. Now we need to create an ASP website uh, using IIS Manager. So open the IIS Manager in the run window, type in it MGR, press enter or click on OK. This is the interface we'll get over here. Expand the server. Right click on sites, select add website, I'll add new pro as in site name and in the physical path browse and we'll create in C drive, high pub, triple w root and therein we'll create a new folder. Click on make new folder and the uh, name of this folder would be same as of the site name so new pro click on ok I'll configure with port number 83 and click on ok as you can see over here the new site has been created on port number 83 that's it close this window next we'll browse the directory where the new folder has been created that is C drive, anetpub, triple double root and new pro. Right click on this one and we'll select properties. Click on security and here we will assign and here we will assign permission to a specific group or username. Click on edit. 
for this demonstration I'll assign with the users as well as IIS users click on apply click on ok ok and that's it done permission has been configured successfully now we will create four files two HTML file and two ASP files and we'll add in our root folder of the newly created website and these are collect data.html insert.asp display.asp and display.html so these are the four files save these files in the root directory of your newly created website labeled as new pro in my collect data.html file i have created a form and on the server end the form data is being handled by insert.asp there from the client side data is submitted using the html form and on the server end data is being processed and saved in the database so let us understand the code here i have created four variables first con variable is used for holding the connection object rec for holding record set object and uh, nm and rl for holding the different username as well as role submitted by this form from client end on the server now first we'll create a connection so for that we'll write this line and uh, then we'll have to create a record set object that will point to an individual record of the table and this is an example of database connection using dsn just now i have created a dsn named new pro dsn and i'm passing this name only in the open method of connection object and like this after the execution of line number 15 the connection will be established if everything is configured correctly and the resources are available next I'm just collecting data submitted from the user via the form. I'm storing the username in the nm variable, storing the role number in rl variable. Now, now to insert these data, I'm using insert SQL statement. To execute the SQL queries, execute method is used. And uh, to call the execute method, we need to use connection object like this one. And for the confirmation only, I wrote a single line with a message data has been submitted successfully. Now let us execute this one. Open the web browser, localhost, configured on port number 83. Collect data.html. This is the form. For the verification, just check out. The data stored in this table. Seven records are there. Now I am adding the eighth one. Minimize this one. Adding a new data. Name I am adding Mike. Roll number is 34. Yeah, I am getting data has been submitted successfully. Let us verify this. We can see its record has been added, and uh, this is what the data which we have inserted just now. This is how we insert data within the database, and now to display the data stored in the database table, I have created an HTML file with just a button within a form. This HTML file will hold a form having a single submit button with value display data. And to retrieve from the database, the code should be like this. Here, the retrieved data from the database table should be displayed in a tabular structure. So for that, I have created an HTML file and within that, I have added ASP codes. 
procedure is quite similar first we need to create the connection and and create a record set object open the connection and this time after execution this query will return multiple rows that will be stored in rs app created a table with heading and this is what the code for traversing data stored in this rs field or stored in this rs variable this is the code through which we will traverse all the records stored in this rs field this is what the code via which we will traverse the entire codes stored in this rs variable so i have created first create a loop and this loop will begin by default this will point to the very first record and uh, we will have to move right from beginning till the end to identify the end of the records we do have a special character that is eof and uh, we have used do until loop within that dynamically i am adding a row and within a row data so this is for row creation this is opening a row and after performing this is opening and this is closing and within each record we do have multiple columns and uh, for retrieving values from each column i'm using for each loop and each column value will be added as in cell for this table that's it and uh, let us see this code in action and this time i'll have to use display dot html click on display data here you can see the list of values stored in the database you may match as you can see we do have here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and uh, we do have eight different records over here that's it this was the basic demonstration for communication with database i will suggest you to practice even more and uh, customize the output by adding different styles similarly perform the other operations like deletion or operation by replacing the queries over here that's it practice well and keep learning